As Taiwan becomes more health conscious, sugar heavy drinks are going out of fashion. You might have noticed your bubble tea isn't as sweet as it used to be. Or perhaps a server has asked if you want to go for a half sugar option. Let's take a look at how drink shops have changed to suit Taiwan's fading sweet tooth. A handful of ice, a pull on the drinks machine, and a green tea is ready. Partly due to the government's sugar reduction policy, this shop says now only 1.35% of customers order a full sugar drink. The six flavours still available in full sugar, including the high-grade green tea, premium oolong and high mountain oolong, are about to get their sugar ration slashed to just 80 or 50 per cent of what they once were. The full sugar hit will soon be a thing of the past. Usually I go for slightly sugared or no sugar. I wouldn't buy half sugar, let alone full sugar. Less than 30 per cent of our customers buy full sugar drinks. As people grow more health conscious, most people choose no sugar. Second most popular is half sugar, then slightly sugared. At this shop, sugar has already been on the wane for three years. The machines were adjusted to make full sugar only 70 per cent of the dose at other shops. The sugar content and calories in each of the 30 flavours are also displayed clearly. Less than 10 per cent of our customers choose full sugar each day. Most of those are older people or seniors. Today our full sugar drinks are just 70 per cent of the market average. Taiwanese people are getting more and more conscious of healthy consuming. The drinks chain Qingxin Fuquan has scrapped its full sugar option. Share Tea uses cane sugar and has adjusted recipes and machines. True Dan uses less calorific brown sugar and its staff suggests lower sugar levels. A good read Ella's black tea is new on the block and sells two flavours with no full sugar on offer. Next time you're asked if you want to cut the sugar, why not give it a try? Your body will probably thank you. Thank you.